Hey girls, Melissa with Serenity here. So today I'm gonna to talk about getting your new hair piece um, in the mail and what to expect. So, you know, you've finally bit the bullet. Maybe this is your very first hair piece. You, you're not really sure what to expect, but you're super excited. You finally ordered it. You're waiting for it to come. Um, you've been looking at all the beautiful pictures online and how perfect it looks. And you receive it, pull it out of the box, and you're like, what is this? <laughs> and so I kind of want to explain what you do and how you kind of need to make it your own. So, um, you know, it absolutely can look amazing and beautiful on you um, as it does in the pictures. It should look exactly the same. But the thing is, when you first pull it out of the box, it is going to look different. So let me kind of sh we'll go through the steps and show you. So you got it, you finally got it. It's gonna come in a box like this. You're going to take the lid off and you're gonna pull out a bag, which is our bag. And in that bag is the hair piece. Now this one I just put in, so it's not gonna be all crumpled and rumpled like yours probably will be, because you gotta consider this has been, here's your hair piece now in the net. It's been sitting like this in the mail, possibly up to a week, kind of squished in it. The hair's all smished around. So keep that in mind when you take it out of the hair net. And so you're gonna get it, pull that hair net off, and you're gonna shake it out. And of course, this one's gonna look a little different because I literally just put it in the hairnet to show you, to demonstrate. But a lot of times they, you know, you open them up, they come in there, maybe the parts smushed or the hairs parted weird because it was laying in the box funny for a week. So take that into consideration. You know, you wanna take a, a little brush or a comb, um, like a, a wide tooth comb, and just kind of gently comb through, get those snaggles out because it has been in that box and for, you know, for a week or so. You're gonna just gently brush that. And then you're going to, you know, inspect it, take a look at it, and then you'll put it on. Now, for those of y'all who have never put on a hair piece, and this is your very, very first one, please keep in mind, this is going to look like so much hair on yourself. Um, that's my number one, I'd say 90% of the time, new, new ladies to hair, um, or I should say ladies new to hair, it looks like so much and they put it on and they're like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. And they wanna send it back immediately. Well, it's it takes some time. You've gotta make it yours. And the biggest hurdle I have found, and this was with myself too, so I can speak from experience, is you're, you're not used to seeing yourself with that much hair and it just looks foreign. And you think everybody's gonna know, I can't do this. Just give yourself a few days to get used to it. Um, you know, I give four days for my return. I always encourage ladies, at least keep it for those, you know, three and a half, four days, just to see. It, the biggest part is your own perception of how it looks. Other people might look at you and they won't know anything, but you see it and you know it's more hair than you have and it looks funny to you, but it looks amazing to everybody else. So my, my biggest encouragement to you would be just give it those four days at least to try it, see how it does, because it's you getting used to it is the biggest hurdle in most cases. But I'm going to put it on real quick, just so you can see, you know, you can see I barely have any hair. I very, I have very little hair. And this is going to look like a lot of hair. And if you can imagine somebody who has never tried a topper on, it's going to seem like copious amounts of hair. So let's see, I'm gonna put this on, clip it around. You know, I encourage you, just take that time. Take the time to uh, play around with it. You certainly can change the part if you want. If the part's on the opposite of how you part, that will not negate a return, is changing the part. So you're welcome to wet, you know, wet the hair, change the part to the other side. That is totally fine. You know, I want you to be able to see what it looks like on you with your part. So feel free to do that. All right. So you can see it's a lot more hair than I just showed. And, you know, it looks very natural on me. It blends well. But that initial almost shock of seeing yourself with so much hair, it, it takes some getting used to for sure. So I just encourage you to take that time, get used to it. Um, you know, like I said, change the part to the other side. I have videos on how to do that. Uh, you can definitely wet the hair and change that part. If you have a heat comb, you can do that. Um, that's not going to negate a return because I want you to be able to see how 
how it looks like your hair. So if the hair, if it's parted on the opposite side of you, it's not going to look like you, so to speak. Um, another big, excuse me, another big part is how to, of course you can't do this during the return period, but let's say you decide, yes, I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna make it mine. A huge, a huge thing to making it more you is wear it in and get your stylist to cut it. So for instance, if you have a certain hairstyle or you want a little bit of a layering or some face framing layers, kind of like this has here, some longer face framing, um, that's gonna go a long way in making it look more like you and your hairstyle and you being used to that. So, you know, I just encourage you to to do that, explore what options you have. Always feel free to email us. You can send us an email to serenitywigs at gmail.com. You know, ask us whatever and we'll guide you through that. We'll actually, we can get on a, a Zoom video, do some troubleshooting with you. That is no problem at all. You know, we definitely wanna make it work for you. Um, we can go over ideas on changing the part, uh, you know, whatever, different things. So anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to send us an email at serenitywigs at gmail.com. But I hope this video helps, um, helps understanding the process of once you receive it, that it might not look exactly like off the website because it has been kind of squished in that box and it needs a little bit of TLC and, um, you know, just making it you. So thanks so much, ladies.